Hey everyone, I'm Shamli and I welcome you all to this new video of Simply Learn on Azure Active Directory. In this video, I will take you through what is Azure Active Directory, followed by what is the difference between Windows AD and Azure AD. Then we will look into the services audience, i.e. who uses these services. And at last, we will have a quick demo of Azure Active Directory. So let's get started with the video. First, what is Azure Active Directory? But before getting into the definition of Azure AD, let's have a real life example of Azure AD to understand it in a better way. There are a lot of pre-created applications that you can offer user access to using Azure AD. So Netflix is one of them. So here's the scenario. You want to share a Netflix account with a dozen people from your organization. Giving your Netflix username and password to everyone isn't safe. So how do you give them access? Here enters Azure AD. The Netflix application is available in the Azure AD gallery and can be added to your Azure AD tenant. This adds the application to your tenancy and allows you to save your Netflix credentials in the secured credential store so that users can be assigned to it. The only people who have access are the ones you give it to unless they have their own account. You're essentially building a company wide password vault then assigning people to the system. They require access to so they can log in without knowing the username and password for those systems. All they need is the Azure AD account or password and Azure AD will handle the rest. So saying in technical terms, Azure Active Directory is a cloud-based identity and access management service from Microsoft that allows your employees to sign in and access resources such as Microsoft 365, the Azure portal and thousands of other SAS apps and internal resources such as apps on your company's intranet and network as well as any cloud apps built by a company. Azure AD is required for sign-in and identity protection in Microsoft Online Business Services such as Microsoft 365 and Azure. If you sign up for any Microsoft Online Business, you will be given access to Azure AD which includes all of the free services. But what makes Azure AD so different from Windows AD that it has become more popular among people from technical firm? What is Windows AD? Active Directory saves information about network objects and make it easier for administrator and users to find and use their information. It organizes directory information logically and hierarchically using a structured data store. But its supreme drawback is its layers. So let's have a look at its layers and its functioning. First is ADDS, Windows Active Directory Domain Services. Active Directory Domain Services is an example of a directory service that provides mechanisms for storing directory data and making it available to network users and administrators. Second is ADFS, Active Directory Federation Services. Federated Identity and Access Management is made possible by Active Directory Federation Service which securely shares digital identity and entitlements right across security and corporate boundaries to provide customers, partners and suppliers with a streamlined user experience while accessing an organization's web-based applications. ADFS extends the ability to employ single sign-on capability accessible within a single security or enterprise boundary to internet-facing apps. Third is ADRMS, Active Directory Write Management Services. Microsoft's Active Directory Rights Management Services safeguards sensitive documents and emails. Unlike traditional security methods like firewalls and ACLs, ADRMS encryption and protection remain constant regardless of where a file goes or how it is transferred. But Azure Active Directory actually combine these layers and make the whole process more easier and hassle-free. Azure AD combines these layers into two layers, WAAD, 
Windows Active Azure Directory, and Windows Azure Access Control Service. Windows Active Azure Directory combines all the problems revolving around identification management. And Windows Azure Access Control Service takes care of federating all the services of an organization. So let's have an example. When an employee joins the premises of an organization, the administrator guides them towards signing to particular services they use and then give access to it. And the employees can access these services through their credentials like username and password. Now that we know what is Azure Active Directory and how it functions different from ADDS, let's have a look at the service audience of Azure Active Directory. Azure AD is majorly intended to RIT admins, app developers and online subscribers. For IT admins, you can use Azure AD as an IT administrator to limit access to your apps and app resources based on your business needs. When accessing critical organizational resources, for example, you can utilize Azure AD to enforce multi-factor authentication. Finally, Azure Active Directory provides you with strong features to help you protect users' identities and credentials while also meeting your access governance requirements. As an app developer, you may utilize Azure AD to add single sign-on to your app using a standard-based method allowing it to function with the user's existing credentials. Also, Azure AD has APIs that may be used to create customized app experiences based on existing organizational data. For online subscribers, you're already using Azure AD as a subscriber. Each tenant of Microsoft 365, Office 365, Azure and Dynamics CRM Online is an Azure AD tenant by default. You may begin managing access to your connected clouds apps right away. So now that we know the basic concept of Azure AD, let's have a quick demo of it. So the first thing we need to do is log in in our Azure ID account and then go to Azure Active Directory sector. Here you will see add option where you can add a user, group, enterprise application, app registration according to your choice. And below that, you can search for any tenant like for user or for any group. So right now it doesn't belong to any group or there is no user with this name. Here you will get basic information like their name, what is their ID, what is the license, which groups they belong, and what all devices they use. You can all have an access to their password as well. So this was all about Azure Active Directory. We have almost reached the end of this video. If I missed anything important, do let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video on Azure Active Directory and learned something new from it. If you like this video, then please hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates and videos from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.